The National Biscuit Company presents The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin. Yo, Rinny! The National Biscuit Company presents this week's adventure of Rin Tin Tin, entitled Rin Tin Tin and the White Buffalo. Oh, boy, Mr. Morrow, I just heard some great news. No kidding. What is it, Rusty? I heard that every day, more and more kids are eating the Bisco Shredded Wheat for breakfast. I think that's great. In fact, I think everybody should eat the Bisco Shredded Wheat. You're right. That's a good idea, Rusty. There's no better way I know to start the day than with a bowl of delicious Nabisco Shredded Wheat. Yep. Not only does Nabisco Shredded Wheat taste like a million, it's lots of fun to eat. You see, you put a Nabisco Shredded Wheat biscuit in a bowl of milk, and you have a real raft. Then you put some fruit and sugar on it, and you have it loaded with cargo, ready to sail. That's right, kids. Like Rusty says, you'll have a raft of fun eating a raft of Nabisco shredded wheat for breakfast. And you get lots of pep and energy, the kind you need to keep up with the other kids. So everybody start eating Nabisco shredded wheat. Tell Mom that you want Nabisco, the original shredded wheat. Tell her to look for the box with Niagara Falls on the end. And now, today's adventure of Rin Tin Tin, entitled... Rin Tin Tin and the White Buffalo. Lieutenant Rip Masters speaking, officer of the 101st Cavalry stationed at Fort Apache. We're known as the Fighting Blue Devils. To keep peace in the territory we patrolled, it was necessary for us to sign treaties with the Indians. These treaties were honored and respected by both the white man and the Indian. To help the Indian, we had been given the detail of surveying the territory and setting up certain boundary markers so that the Indians would know what land was theirs and to show the white man which parts of the territory belonged to him. We were at work on this surveying and marking job when we became involved in a very unusual affair. It all began one morning when we were hard at work. The patrol, myself, Rusty and Rennie. Okay, Rip. Hold it, Rusty. Mark it. 38 degrees west, O'Hara. Got it, sir. Well, so far so good, huh, Rip? Got a long ways to go yet, Rusty. <laughs> Cut it out, Rip. Can't you see we're busy? <laughs> Apaches! Headed this way, Lieutenant. At ease, men. They're friendly. How can you tell, sir? They're Chiricahuas. If they weren't friendly, Rusty, you wouldn't see them at all. Until it was too late. Gee. <laughs> I guess you're right, Rip. Looks like they're coming down to Powell. Uh huh. I'm Kumawi, son of Sekoro, chief of the Cherokawa. I'm Masters, lieutenant of the 101st Cavalry. We come as friends. Then why do you lead your warriors into the hunting ground of the Cherokawas? Your great white chief has said this land is ours. You speak the truth. This land was granted to your people under the new peace treaty. Let no man change it. Yes, many of your people would change it. That's why we're here. To mark the boundary so that no white hunter will trespass upon the buffalo of the Chiricahua. This is why you come? Yes, it is good. When the sun leaves the sky, you will come to the camp of Socorro, my father, to feast and to smoke the pipe of peace. It is agreed. May your father live a hundred years. May you be present at his funeral. Come. We go to slay a buffalo for the feasting. Gee, sir, can I? Can I go, Rip? Well, we trust the safekeeping of the peace to our friends, the Long Knives. Do the Long Knives trust the safekeeping of this boy to the Chiracawa? Go along, Rusty. Thank you, sir. I'll go get my horse. We will come to the camp of Socorro at sundown. The small brave will be there. Okay, let's go. Come, little brave. Makes me kind of uncomfortable, sir. Rusty taken off with those Indians. It'd have all been more uncomfortable if he hadn't. Rusty included. 
The Chiricahua is a mighty touchy. If I'd refused their offer, they'd have been highly insulted. As it is, their honor binds them to keep him safe. Down there, in the valley, behold the buffalo, little brother. Gosh, that's a big herd, Kamali. <laughs> no, it is small. Once, the great buffalo filled the land. As far as the eye could see, so many that a man might have walked across this valley on their backs, as on a blanket. Gee, what happened to them all? The white hunters came to slay the buffalo, kill and kill, till the bones of the buffalo made the desert white in the sun. But why, Kamawi? They couldn't use the meat, not all of it. Some say the white man kills for sport. Others say to slay the red man's buffalo is but another way to slay the red man. How do you mean? The buffalo is more than game to my people, little one. It is food, shelter, and clothing. Our very life. If the buffalo die, the Indian will soon follow, for we cannot live without them. Gee. It is best for you to ride no closer. The great buffalo takes much killing. His hide is thick. From it, we make our shields of war which can turn an arrow or a musket ball. Then how do you bring a buffalo down in the first place? The shot must be true to the heart. Even then, a bull may run a mile before he drops. A wounded bull is dangerous. Okay, Rennie. We'll stay up here and watch. Be careful, Kamali. And you, little brother. Come. Gee, Rennie. We can sure see from up here. Now we can watch Kamali get the buffalo. <laughs> there he goes, after a big one. Look, Rennie, he's ready in his bow and arrow. <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> Come on, Rennie, we can get down and see the buffalo. <laughs> Gee, this is tough going, Rennie. <laughs> What? Keep your paws off that buffalo, Redskin. Golly, four men. Who are they? Oh, it's rifles. Quiet, Winnie. Why do you come here? What do you want of us? My, my. He big engine talks real good, don't he? Just like a native. Come up with your hands empty. Now get this, Apache. For every buffalo you kill, we're killing one engine. A red skin for a buffalo hide. You are evil men. This land, as far as the river, was granted to my people by the white men. We got no use for your land. Keep it. All we want is the buffalo. No. This is the last of our land. The last of the buffalo. This we must keep or die. Oh. Oh. Quick, Rennie. Go get Lieutenant Masters. Bring him here. Now. Yo, Rennie. Get up, Redskin. You betray your own people who want peace, even as we have wanted it. For the Chiricahua will fight to keep what is ours. You see what I mean, Keller? Give an Apache your hand, he takes your whole arm. You see, Chief, somebody made a big mistake when they made that treaty. Paid too big a price just for peace. A smart man don't make things too easy on his enemies. But the treaty was made in friendship. Now nah, we're wasting time. You can't talk sense to an engine. Let's catch up with that herd. Start driving them to the river. I'll keep an eye on these buzzers so you get a good start. What was that? Are you red devil, you man? I will take you. Stop me on that herd. Sorry, take it off. I got the gun. Good boy. Now give me that gun. This dirty Apache tried to kill me. Stay put, mister. You started it. What? Now listen, You kid. can tell it to Lieutenant Masters. He'll be here in a minute. I trust this, Lieutenant Masters. We wait. <laughs> You can tell your story. Here comes Lieutenant Masters. I'll talk to him. You will listen. I'll fix you, Redskin. Wait. Come 
my way. He does not worry. Oh, 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 oh. I'll take that gun, Rusty. Okay, Rick. What's going on here? My name's Garth, Lieutenant. I'm swearing out a warrant for this Apache. He attacked me in cold blood. I saw the whole thing, Rip. It wasn't Kamali's fault. Oh, oh. Yeah, and Rennie really saw it too, Rip. All right. Suppose you start over, Mr. Garth. Hey, what is this? Whose side are you on, soldier? Whichever side is right. Understand? He's an engine, ain't he? Yes, he is. Well, I'm a white man. That makes me right. Right or wrong isn't settled by the color of a man's skin, Mr. Garth. Him and some other man came to take the buffalo, Rip. Oh, oh, oh. the others? My braves are bringing them back. Good. See? My, my braves come. They got those other men, Rip. Oh. That's fine. Oh, oh. Those are the ones, all right. You'll be lucky, all of you, to get out of this with your skins. Trespassing and poaching on a Chiricahua game preserve in deliberate violation of the peace treaty. Well, we just didn't know, Lieutenant. Shut up, Keller. Lieutenant, you Indian lovers keep asking for it, don't you? The buffalo hunters have done more to stop the redskins in a year than the army's done in 30. I've heard that theory. It's no good. When you take a man's living away and back him into a corner, he'll fight. Any man. Nah. If I ever see you on Chiricahua hunting ground again, and that goes for the rest of you. Oh, oh, oh. We, we don't want no trouble, Lieutenant. Keller, I told you to... Why, Quiet, you! Lieutenant, uh, did you just get us out of this? That's all. Come are we? Yes, Lieutenant Masters. If you let these men go in peace... I promise you that they will not return. Let them go. On your horse, Mr. Garth. All right. Remember, you owe your lives to these Indians. I ain't forgetting what I owe that Kamawi, Lieutenant. That's for real sure. and his pals were playing a very reckless game. It never pays to defy the United States government. Never. And we were the representatives of Uncle Sam in the West, put there to keep his laws and his treaties. Kamawi showed what great faith and honor he had for our agreements. But something happened that same night, something so awful that the Apaches wanted revenge. Revenge in blood, the blood of the white man. I'll be back to tell you the rest of the story in just a minute. Say, kids... If you've been wondering how Rusty trains Rennie to do all those tricks, listen carefully. I'm going to let you in on the secret. First of all, keep the lessons short. Secondly, and most important, give him milk bone dog biscuit as a reward. When your dog knows that he's going to get a reward of milk bone for learning his tricks, well, you just watch how fast he learns. And milk bone is good for your dog. It gives him the vitamins, minerals, and proteins that he needs for good health. In fact, Milk Bone Dog Biscuit is packed with more energy per pound than prime beefsteak. But Milk Bone does even more than supply your dog with the nourishment he requires. It gives him the chewing and gnawing exercise he should have for strong teeth and healthy gums without the fear of dangerous bone splinters. So just ask Mom to get Milk Bone Dog Biscuits in the famous red and yellow box the next time she goes shopping. It comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. A size for every dog. All good dogs deserve milk bone. And now, back to the adventures of Rin Tin Tin. Lieutenant Rip Masters again. Garth and Keller and the other two men rode away. But there was hate and vengeance in Garth's every action, and in his eyes. I had a feeling that we hadn't heard the last of them, but I was hopeful. That night, all of us made our way to the camp of the Chiricahuas. We all gathered around the huge council fire. Once we were settled, the peace pipe was passed to me by Socorro, the chief of the Chiricahuas. I drew the smoke in, and then exhaled the blue smoke into the cool night air. Then I passed on the pipe to Chief Socorro. We make prayer to Great Spirit that our hearts may never be far apart. No farther apart than our hands are at this council fire. Amen. Uh, 
Now, look at the red devils down there. Yeah, I see them, Garrett. Having a hot time, ain't they? Yeah. Well, I'll cool them off. Put that rifle away. You're the one who's got to cool off. Like Phillips and Magruder said, you're, you're pushing this thing too far. But they know about it. When I was a kid, Apaches killed my folks. No redskins putting his hand on me and live. Well, he let you go, didn't he? You're still wearing your hair. Quit while you're even. When I get even, I'll quit. And I go with Phillips and Magruder. Our business is hunting buffalo, not men. Then go, Keller. But make sure you keep going. And keep out of my way from now on. Because if there's one color of skin I hate as much as red, it's yellow. <laughs> My son has told me much of the courage and wisdom of this small brave. Corporal Rusty. May his eyes behold the white buffalo. White buffalo? Yeah, I've never seen one. Few men have. Among my people, it is told that when the white buffalo appears, the great spirit smiles on you. No man may see him more than once, little brother. And then, only when his need is greatest. Rip? Did you know about the white buffalo? It's a famous legend, Rusty. Even a song. A song? Mm Mm-hmm. I'm not much of a singer, but I think I do remember the words. Well, go on. Tell the legend, white friend. Uh, I have heard many stories from an old Indian friend. And this is my favorite, even though it has no end. Go ahead, Rip. (laughs) I I have to try to remember the lines. There's an old Indian legend I was told long ago. It's about a special valley in the White Buffalo. Thanks, O'Hara. There are few who have seen him, though they've looked high and low. For the trail is long and winding to the White Buffalo. The legend says you'll find him if your heart is brave and true. And you treat all men as brothers, no matter what they do. I have searched for that valley since I started to grow. I won't stop until I find it and the white buffalo. For I know it's right to To find find the white buffalo. To find the white buffalo. White brothers, it is good. What happened? What was that? I will send for the medicine man, Father. Oh, stay with me, my son. I go on a long journey to a better hunting ground. Perhaps I I will see him again. (sighs) Good hunting, Chief. Lieutenant, was guard. O'Hara, send Cullen back to the post with the supply wagon. Then alert the entire command. The rest of you men, mind up. We're going hunting. Yes, sir. What about me, sir? Oh, this man's dangerous, Rusty. You stay here with Rennie till we get back. Yes, sir. Yes, Kamawi. It is for me to find him. It is for my people to punish him. He's as guilty by our law as he is by yours. Let him answer to his own people. No. I am the new chief. I will avenge the death of my father. There's been too much bloodshed between your people and mine for either side to dictate the law. You can't sacrifice the peace for one man. If the Long Knives choose to fight the Chiricahua because of Garth, then we will fight to the death. Don't you see? That's what Garth would want. Red man against white. And once the treaty is broken and the wars begin, right or wrong won't matter anymore. And only men like Garth can win. You speak the truth. We will search for this man together. And you will deliver him to the justice of your own people. Thank you, Kamawi. But if he is not punished, then the treaty is made of lies. And I will fight a truthful way rather than keep a dishonest peace. Gosh, 
Trini. It's morning already. Oh. Sure have been gone an awful long time. Oh. You think he got away? I guess Rip and Kamali will catch up with him all right. But they should have taken us along. You, anyway. You're the best tracker in the territory. Oh. If Garth gets away, Kamali's going to be awful mad. The Chiricahuas might even go on the warpath. Then we'd have to fight them. Because we're soldiers. We don't want that. I like Kamali. What do we do? <laughs> hey, I got it. <laughs> you want to follow his trail? <laughs> Let me get on my horse. Okay, Rennie. We'll find him. <laughs> got, Rennie? Horseshoe nail. Not from a cavalry horse, either. And Indian ponies don't wear shoes. <laughs> Hasn't been here long. No rust. We're on the right track, boy. What is it? I understand. We're closer than I thought. We'll go easy from now on. We'll leave my horse back there, Rennie. You'd better be quiet. Okay, Rennie. Where is he? You want us to crawl through the brush? All right, let's go. Golly, there he is. Right below us in that gully. His horse saw us and ran. What the... What the... No! It's going to be a habit, ain't it, kid? If you cover me with my own gun. This will be the last time, mister. Rennie, find Masters and Kamali. Bring them here, quick. Sure you know how to use that gun, Sonny? There's one way to find out. I'll think it over. I'm going to take that chance, kid. Better not. No use, kid. I figured it out. All that guff about men being brothers. You really believe that? You wouldn't plug your own brother, now would you? Don't try it. You can't get far anyway. Your horse ran off and Masters will be here in a minute. He'll still have to catch me. Unless you put a bullet in my back. Hey, come back, you! saw nothing, little brother. But he was there. Garth tried to get away and he got caught in a stampede. I almost did, too. They were right behind me. Then I fell. And I looked up and I saw him. He was there if he was. Anyway, I think he was. And when I looked around, Buffalo heard it stopped. I can't explain it. Never heard of a Buffalo stampede stopping for anything. Who can explain it? If the little one saw him, or if he did not, is of no importance. For his heart is brave and true, as the legend says it must be. And perhaps he has seen the white buffalo. Who can say? I did, Rennie. I did see him. <laughs> Kamali. We'll come back someday. We will count the days, little brother. Come, brave the Chiricahua. There they go. Out to their 
hunting land. Right, Rusty. How does that song go, Rip? The legend says you'll find him if your heart is brave and true. And you treat all men as brothers, no matter what they do. Gosh. I I have searched searched for that that valley since since I started started to grow. I won't stop until I find it. And the white buffalo. Surprise, Mr. Morrow. Hey, Rusty, what have you got there? It's a present for you. All the cast, Lieutenant Masters, Sergeant O'Hara, myself, we all chipped in to give you this wallet. Well, gosh, thanks, Rusty. Certainly was oh, nice. Oh, 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 hey, here comes oh. Rennie with a present. <laughs> well, what do you know? Rennie's given me a box of milk bone dog biscuits. Oh, Rennie, Mr. Morrow doesn't use milk bone dog biscuits. Oh, that's okay, Rusty. I've got a dog at my house who'll really appreciate this present. And besides, I know what Rennie meant. He wanted to give me what he thought was the best present in the world. Like all dogs, Rennie loves milk bone dog biscuits. That's why I always reward Rennie with milk bones. And don't forget. Milk Bone Dog Biscuits is packed with proteins, minerals, and vitamins, and supplies more food energy per pound than prime beefsteak. So, kids, ask Mom to get your dog Milk Bone Dog Biscuits. There's a small size, a medium size, and a large size. There's a size to suit every dog, and your dog will love Milk Bone Dog Biscuits. As soon as Kamawe and his braves were out of sight, we mounted our horses and headed back for Fort Apache. We didn't talk. We just remained quiet with our thoughts. And the words of the song seemed to come back. If your heart is brave and true. Yes, we are all brothers. You know, almost every man has some particularly trying time in his life. And one of our troopers went through such a stage, Corporal Boone. It all began when Boone decided to leave the service and get married. The whole business became quite involved and very exciting. One man in our outfit frowned on the whole affair, one Sergeant O'Hara. Well, after all, anybody, anybody can get married, just anybody. What's Boone's wife's name? Oh, Oh, Louise. And she's not his wife yet. She's his fiance. Fiance? Yeah, that's a French word. It means uh, a girl who's going to get married. Do they have a word for a man who's going to get married? Yeah, but it ain't in French. <laughs> Don't forget next Sunday at this same time over this station, another exciting chapter in The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin, presented by the National Biscuit Company, makers of Milk Bone Dog Biscuits and Nabisco, the original shredded wheat. For The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin on television, consult your local paper for time and station. Don Morrow speaking. This program came to you transcribed from New York. (laughs) 